So I played 100 floors of the new Infinity Dungeon in Moonstone Island just when the update dropped. And if you are wondering what's ahead and how did I do it, then here's a sword of god just for you. But first things first, what is this dungeon anyway? Well my child, it's an infinite dungeon. You can unlock it by finishing all of the dungeons in Moonstone Island. It has two maps, one map for battle and one for rewards. For the battle maps, you just have to defeat a party of spirits to unlock the next floor. Mini boss floors are found on fives like floor 5, 15, 25, and so on. And the main boss floors are at tens. Reward maps on the other hand always spawn after the boss room floors, so you get a reward at floor 11, 21, 31, and so on. But there are also some common chests for each floor, and you also get the usual drops for every battle, so yeah, it's like the Cave of Wonders, except with less gold interior design and more occult stuffs. But the best loot that I ever got here was this, a Holo Hunter Potion! The potion that we only get during events like the Holo Win Hunt or the Holo Day event. The potion that boosts holo spawns from 2% to 10% so that it would be easier to get shiny spirits in the wild. Yep, that potion. You can get it every 50 floors of the infinity dungeon. So yep, I got two now from floor 50 and floor 100. Oh, and don't worry too much, this dungeon doesn't reset at all. You're also allowed to flee at battle. Time also doesn't move at this place, so just take your time. And how did I get to floor 100 just when the updates rolled in? Well, as I mentioned at this video, I prepared my spirits and items a day before the update. Just because. I made sure to level them, get the best of the best cards 3 to 4 times, and I have a guide for that by the way in case you wanna know how the heck I got this much 5 star cards. But anyways, I also prepared my crops, like around 90 of each electric cones and bolt with fertilizers, around 50 sweater plants and crescent plants, and about 120 ghost rooms with fertilizer, because I am just that cautious. We never know if the buffs are set for each floor or what, so gotta be prepared. And the last, the update rolled in, and sorta unlucky for me, my preparation was, um, a bit much, because the buffs actually didn't reset, and I only had to feed my spirit once, like before even entering the dungeon. So yeah, I am stuck with a hecking lot of these crops. I also made sure to put a chest outside to clear up my bag, because well, it's a dungeon. Surely it has loot, right? And heck, by the end of the run, I ended up with 3 chests because there were a lot of loot. I also wanted to do this without using poison spirits, even though I did prepare one just in case. So I had Zed babysit my little ribbit for a while. But now that I was all set with my Mr. Stime and Papax, we finally entered the Infinity Dungeon. It got nice occultish design for a cursed place. Very welcoming. The first few battles were super easy, but only because I'm prepared. I don't think it's possible to get to floor 100 without even preparing at all. A few floors in and my bag was already full, and I kinda hated that I had to go back and forth to clear my inventory. So that's when I decided to steal the chest to dump some loot. Thanks for leaving your chest and loot, cult people! So when I went back to the dungeon, I thought maybe the battle difficulty would make it more challenging. But after checking the settings, it was already on hard mode. Well, I left it as it is till the very end just to see how far I could go. I don't even know if this setting works for this dungeon. But anyways, everything was still going great till floor 50 considering that I was only using 2 spirits. I basically was just spamming deja vu, nightmares, and matching cosmic horror with nightfalls. But I noticed that the boss fights were getting a little bit longer because by the way, the mini bosses has 3 rounds of barrier which protect them from all conditions, so damage over time cards like poison doesn't work on them. And actual boss floors have 3 rounds of barrier for their whole party plus they also curse some of their cards. So the 2 spirit team was working well below floor 50 only because the enemy's team's HP were low. And I could just have my OP card, you know, just power through it. But that was no longer the case for anything above floor 50, especially starting floor 70. That's when all the battles actually got really long. So I decided to get my ribbit. Above floor 70, the enemy's HP were getting very large even for normal battles, but that's nothing poison cards can't handle. Psh, easy. The run was pretty smooth, nothing too exciting, but that's on me for over preparing, and I did notice that the fights doesn't really get challenging. It was too simple, none of my spirits died, and it felt a little repetitive. 
And as I mentioned, it does however get longer because of the larger HP pools each time you finish a floor. But again, that's on me for over preparing. Dang it, Meerkat! This is your fault! So, um, anyways, what did I learn from all of that? Well, here's 5 tips for ya. Number 1. Don't be dependent on poison, burn, or other conditions. As I mentioned, there are 3 rounds of barriers for boss floors, which means that you'd be wasting 3 turns if all your cards are DOT. So yes, it doesn't matter if you can do 11 million poison damage, you still have to add raw damage cards on your deck. But damage over time cards are good for fast clearing of normal floors, especially on higher levels. So keep them on your deck. Number 2. Don't forget to feed your spirit stuff that can boost your stats. Or you can also just use a spirit brush for extra stats. Those of it in armor helps a lot so your spirits won't get napped out. Number 3. Stock up on healing crops if you're doing a deep dive. You also get some healing crops after each boss fights, but it may or may not be enough for you. Number 4. You might want to put all of your non-combat items in a chest first and make space because there will be a lot of loot and rewards. Normal battles give loot, plus there's a chest at every floor, plus there's also rewards after each boss fight. And yeah, here are all the loots that I got from the dungeon. You see what I'm saying? There's like a lot of them. Number 5. Prepare your spirits before entering the dungeon. You might want to level them up a bit and trim their deck. Planting a hecking lot of gift plants would definitely help for this, and if you're ever impatient, just use the ancient wand like I did! Remember to pump up your villain armor as well for better survivability. But try not to over prepare if you want to have fun. It felt like a mistake. Don't be like me. And that's everything you need to know about the Infinity Dungeon! Now if you'll excuse me, I'ma continue my dive and see how far my spirits can go. Oh, and super thanks to our channel members as always! Don't forget to beep that like and subscribe for more Moonstone Island stuffs coming your way. Bye bye!